Today I have a very important video for you guys and I'm going to be showing you guys how to back up and restore any Core Wallet. But in today's video specifically I'm going to be showing you how to back up and restore a Raptarian Wallet, a Neox Wallet and a Satox Coin Wallet. So stick through, watch this video all the way through to make sure that you learn some vital information so that you can save and look after your crypto in the most secure way. So it doesn't really matter whether you are a crypto miner, whether you're a trader or you're somebody that just likes to hold some cryptocurrency. At some point, we have to figure a way to back up and secure your wallets in case of the worst case scenario. So one of the first things I'm going to do is show you guys my method on securing my wallets. So to me, my method is very, very simple on how to back up and secure your wallets. Now, one of the first things that I'm going to recommend that you guys would do is to grab yourself some sort of reliable storage device so for this this is a um, wd my passport uh, hard drive now if we check on the internet ourselves we can see here uh, this is the device that i have at the moment a wd 500 gigabyte white my passport ultra it's very very reliable uh, and it's a good solid product i will leave a link for you guys down in the description if you do want to do it the exact same way that i'm doing it in today's video so first things first let's go and take ourselves to our desktops now assume that you've got yourself a usb stick or a, or a spare hard drive something that can be unplugged and disconnect from your computer so that it doesn't get affected either via viruses or whether it's from let's say uh, the computer corrupting and not working so let's go and make a folder open that folder maybe name this backup wallets and just leave that there like that open this up now take yourself over to your Raptarian wallet. Now this is going to be the exact same on all core wallets, okay? I have uh, quite a few uh, core wallets set up onto my WD um, hard drive, but I just haven't, didn't think it was worthwhile to show uh, like six or seven different wallets when the whole process is pretty much the same uh, and the majority of these cryptocurrencies have used uh, similar wallets cording to build themselves anyway. Okay, so if we take ourselves over to our Raptarium Core Wallet, if we press on File and we press up Backup Wallet, you'll see that it'll pop up with a wallet.dat file. And what we're going to do is we're going to find the folder that we just created on our desktop, which is called Backup Wallet, since the third one there for us. And let's name this RTM Backup and just press save and that should pop a wallet.file straight into that folder which it has done let's take ourselves over to our satox core wallet let's do the exact same thing again so for the satox core it will be in the wallets tab instead of file so you would press on backup wallet you would name this satox backup save that in there as well and then also as well for neoxa so let's take ourselves to the wallet tab press on backup wallet and name this neoxa backup now it's very very important that you name these exactly what they are if it saves itself as just wallet dot uh, dat you'll have so many and you will not know where to run that or get that back to its full purpose I've, I've, I've backed up wallets before um, and you know didn't manage it very very correctly and you know had many many issues you know from there okay so let me just go back to this Nilksa core so as we see there I accidentally saved both of those two to my documents which is not an issue so all we need to do is go to the backup wallets go to documents just copy these and go back to our desktop backup wallet and just paste those into there okay now from this point I would recommend that you would copy these and as I say for the WD passport as you can see I've got plenty of wallets throughout this all you need to do is just create yourself a folder call that backup wallets open that up and paste those into there and from this point assuming that you disconnect your uh, WD passport correctly which would be just going down to the bottom of your 
your desktop so just give me a second there let me just take off my camera so if we take ourselves down to the bottom just down here and as we see the safely remove hardware and eject media if we click on this and we click on eject my passport ultra if we close this off close off some of these wallets now and then we take ourselves here once you have closed everything that was open inside the My Passport, take yourself over to the little ejector button there and press Eject My Passport Ultra. And as long as it disappears from your dashboard there, sometimes it pops up a little message to let you know that it is now safe to remove your hard drive. And once it's done that, Okay, so at this point you have two stores for your wallet.data files. You've got one on your hard drives and then or USB stick, and then you also have another on your desktop here as the wallet.backups. Okay, so if you feel like you are comfortable when you have saved it onto your passport drive, the same as I feel comfortable with that, then you can just delete these off of your computer so that you don't have to store any of that private data there. But let's just say we want to recover these files, okay? So let's say uh, we still have the ones on a hard drive, we have the, still have the ones on our desktop, and we would like to recover the .dat files that are there. So let's take ourselves back to the internet. Let's download a brand new Raptarium Core Wallet, and let's put in the wallet.dat file. I'll show you guys exactly how you can set that up. So let's click on this. And let's go through the installation process. It's very, very simple. Uh, all we really need to do is find out where the location that this installs. So let's click on more information, run anyway. Let's press yes. Let me do myself a quick favor here just to make things easier. I'm going to put RTM wallet right here. And I'm going to put the destination folder for this on the desktop. So as you can see, the RTM wallet there. Press next and install. Now for myself personally, what I actually do is when I install a wallet, I would install that straight to the W Passport so that you have uh, all the information in your wallet file secured and backed up on there. And then you can just remove that nice and safely. Okay, so let's go ahead and press finish. If we open up the Raptarium Core Wallet now, we can see that we have some files. If we allow this just a few moments to set itself up, it will start to populate some files within here. And what we're going to need to do is switch this out with the .dat file, depending on where that this is. Okay, so it turns out that it auto-detected the wallet file on my computer and then was able to reload up the QT itself. But what I want to do is show you guys how you can recover it as if you didn't have this and you put this onto a fresh uh, system. So let's say we have gone to, um, let's just remove this file from here. If we open up the backup file and we go to the RTM, if we go ahead and copy this, paste this into here, rename this wallet. Dot dat. That's really, really important that it's in lowercase as well. Take ourselves back over to here, double click on the Raptarium QT. And from the Raptarium QT, we're going to need to change over the custom data directory. So let's go onto the desktop, go to the RTM wallet, open up that section there. And once we're in the core, let's press select folder, press OK. And if we allow this some time to start to run, Fingers crossed, it should put us back into our wallet. And there you go, guys, it has done. So it is very, very simple to back up and recover your wallets. All you need to do is make sure that you secure those .dat files somewhere safe. Make sure they're on a secure hard drive or a, or a really good, you know, reliable USB stick. Um, and at the same time as well, just make sure that you keep those offline once you have those stored. Right guys, so this similar process will work for all of the core wallets. The majority of them uh, are using a open source wallet, so uh, the majority of the information would carry forward uh, across a lot of cryptocurrencies. So let me know down in the comment section if you ever lost a wallet before, did you not know how to recover it, uh, and has this you know, video helped you recover your wallet and any potential cryptocurrency that you could have lost? So guys, make sure to check out the links in the description make sure to grab yourself one of these hard drives if you guys need one and then also as well make sure to secure all of your crypto make sure to secure all of your keys and i'll see you guys in the next video peace